Okay. Before trying to get the salami, I dropped five yogurts. This is not good. We'll return to your scheduled programming shortly. Moving on from that. So today I am teaching you probably. Yeah. We are gonna make Captain America pizza. Disclaimer. I before on my storyboard I was actually going to make the dough and yeah, but it's nighttime and I'm lazy and my mom doesn't let me play with dough because I burned the dough of cookies when I tried making them. So we are using Costco pre-made dough pizza that already comes with chocolate and cheese. Actually I got this idea from Rosanna Pantino, which um, she's a really good cook. Check her out. And I am a lazy bum, don't be like me. Please do not ever try this at home because I'm probably gonna burn this like I burned the seven trays of cookies last time. So let's get started. Also, I was trying to find a chef's hat, but I don't have one, so I just got this thing. Because to cook, you need hat. I forgot my apron. For our ingredients, what we're gonna need is either pepperoni or salami because I can't find pepperoni anywhere in this place. Next ingredient will be some shredded cheese. Even if your pizza already has shredded cheese, don't be bothered. Shredded cheese is a good thing and extra cheese is always a good thing. You will also be needing canned black olives. They have to be black olives, but they don't have to be canned. I just got them canned because it's easier to get them canned. Yes! And then for our next ingredient, we're going to need some straight cute mozzarella cheese. Same with your other cheese because mozzarella cheese is good. Get it? <laughs> you shouldn't get it because I also don't get it. But from there on, um, you're also going to need a cookie cutter, star shape, depending on the size of your pizza because it's going to be the middle star thing of Captain America's shield. And you're also going to need a pizza pan that precisely fits almost your pizza. And you're also going to need knives. A lot actually because I normally lose my knives in the middle while cooking. You're going to need a cutting board to cut things. Yes. I also forgot to mention, you are going to need a bowl. The first step is you need to preheat your oven. You probably can't see my oven right now, but it is being preheated. Preheating your oven is very important, so I actually don't know why you should preheat your oven. But it is very important because the internet says so, and you should trust the internet. <coughs> it's a cough on your pizza. Now, if your pizza is like mine, and it's pretty lazy and it doesn't want to take off the plastic by itself, don't cut your fingers and try to rip the plastic out. So take the plastic off your pizza and throw that in the bin. It fell on the floor. The other ingredient we're going to need is a bowl. I got two because I still haven't measured it. So it'll probably be like the first circle of your shield thing. This one will probably be better because the circumference backwards thank you Miss Blevins is better with the pizza. If you can't see the circumference. The first thing you're gonna do is you can probably measure it with your naked eye and you're gonna try to put the olives in the middle of the pizza. Now the first thing before you do that don't be stupid and ask your mom before she goes and somewhere and ask her to open this thing for you because you have no idea how to open it. Opening things with Fia 101. I've actually never used canned olives before, so... want to get out of the can so you're gonna have to use your 
steer its hands and take them out. If you don't like olives, then use grapes on a pizza. That doesn't sound good. Don't use grapes. Don't. Or I could be possibly wrong. Okay. Now that we've got a bunch of olives, we're gonna... Do olives have seeds? I don't know. Oh my god. They do. How are you supposed to... Did I do this correctly? How are you supposed to chop up olives? Dearest God. How do you chop something with a seed in it? Please be prepared when you do this. Get a bowl. Bowls are good. Well, we cut this. Let's just talk about life. So, how have you been doing? Today, I almost cut my finger off. Isn't that nice? But then, like a happy ending, my mom came to help me. But because life isn't a happy ending, my mom didn't come to help me, and I'm stuck here, cutting up gross smelling olives, canned olives. Ask your mom to cut things for you. Don't don't ever do what I'm doing. Uh, our circle will probably have to be this big. Not the circumference, guys. Not fully. What you should do is check if your cookie cutter fits into the bowl of olives you ish made. So if it roughly fits now, it will be okay later. So now what you're going to do is you're going to roughly measure about a circle with your naked eye. Spread them out evenly around your factory made cheese. Pretty much try to get it at the middle of the pizza and don't try to put a lot in one place or your sister's going to scream at you because she doesn't like olives but you're making this pizza for her because she said she's hungry. When you preheat your oven, I forgot to say this, when you preheat your oven, try to get it to the maximum temperature. It will prop, like, to be, if your temperature goes more than 345 degrees Celsius on your oven, then yeah, you should put 335, 45, but if it doesn't, just get to the maximum. So mine only goes up to 250, but that's the maximum it can go to, so I just put it to that. Okay. Now, you should have your pizza. No, you, you don't. You shouldn't have a pizza. You should have a carapia or an elephant with a butterfly in that catching a hot dog. We're going to bring up the slice cube cube. Cube cheese. I wasn't meant to do that. Now, your cube cheese, what you want to do is you want to cut it like a piece of it out. If you're like me and you're extremely bad at cutting cheese, try your best because trying your best always gets you to new places in life. Sometimes you do really bad trying your best, but you know, it's life. And other times, you get the knife stuck in your cheese and you can't take it out. This is why you have two knives. It's not to double kill someone, guys. So, once you've broken your cheese and your mom's gonna be mad at you, get the cheese back in the bag. You probably don't get it. Throw it on the side. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to see, if you've got two pieces, see if one of, like, fits the star cookie cutter, and if it doesn't, you're going to overlap it with another one. And then, you're going to press your hands, and you're going to, just like if you were a cookie, you're going to cut a part out. And then, when taking out the edges, be pretty careful, because if you've got overlap pieces like me, just try to glue them together, like, Smash them with your finger. Yeah. As if it were mashed potato. The camera got cut off. Between that moment, you should have added your 
cookie cheese thing to your pizza. You should have added it right at the middle of the olive circles and now you would, my leg got cut off. So it's a tiny leg. Whoa. Okay, now we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna get the salami slices. First, you would want to get rid of the horrible smell that will not, you will not get rid of. Second, you would, yeah. Don't cut them. I am cut, they won't fit. Do you really? Opinion time. Yeah, beautiful. It needs two red circles. You should cut things. This is going to be the outer circles of your shield. Remember, when we're making a Captain America shield, not his face, for all you fangirls over there. Lauren. Try to get them mostly accurately. I am, I'm, I'm really doing badly at this. So this is why you need math. Because we're cutting it in half. And then in half you can cut it in fourths, which we're not going to. And in fourths you can cut it to... Is it six? Sixes? Or is it eights? It's gonna be eights, maybe. <laughs> so, when you think you have, like, a lot, you take the other ham salami to the side. Don't throw it there. Don't. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that also to the side there. And you're gonna bring back your pizza. And now, you're gonna do the outer circles of your shield. So, you wanna get, try to maybe fit and try to make, like make on a, almost an appropriate full on circle. So like if a piece is too, too big, just get it out because we'll be able to use that for the next part of the shield. There we go. So we just made our first circle. And so now you should put that aside again. If you know that you need more slices, that you probably will. Now we're good, then we're gonna cut more. Yeah. Bring your pizza back. And now, we're just going to lay them done. So from the outer crust part. Remember, you don't want to put them like that. Because that looks like, looks pretty strange. You want to overlap them a little bit. So it will look like it's almost fully straight. Or you could possibly do it like that. We could possibly try it that way. That looks better. Not eat a part of it off if it doesn't match correctly. Yay! So we've got the pizza, guys. Now, if you're like me and you love cheese, you should get the cheese and just sprinkle it on the outer parts here. Because for me, when there's cheese on pizza, it's just sometimes not enough and you always need a bit more. Try not to add a lot so when it melts it won't overlap the salami or the pepperoni. I personally like a lot of cha because cha says good, good, good. Cha says good, 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 good. And you're ready to put it in the oven. I personally think because my oven is a different temperature from what the video said it was supposed to be, I am going to put it for, or I'm gonna be watching it. So it'll probably be around 20 minutes or more. Probably more because my temperature for my oven is lower. So get to that. Now that we got our pizza, we're gonna lay it down there for a while before. We're gonna get this thing ready. It'll probably be baked depending on which oven type you use and you want to put it to the maximum temperature 
your oven can reach. So, mine only can go to 250 as I probably mentioned before, as you can see. So now we're gonna press heat, and I'm gonna set mine for 25 minutes, just in case it needs more. So, press, not there. So it's preheating now. I probably should have done this before, but get your pizza thing and I'm gonna put it in the oven and the most boring part, you wait. Bring out your computer, bring out your phone, snapchat your friends, play Cow Evolution, which cows poop and you get money, and yeah, just do that for time. Keep watching the pizza, you know? How's it going? Just keep watching it. And probably if you're like Sarah and you're more productive than me, try doing your homework. Because then you don't have to snap to your friends at 5 a.m. Sarah. But I already did my homework. So I don't have to do it at 5 a.m. Sarah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it out of the oven. Surprisingly, um, it actually took less time. watching this video my hands burning right now yes thank you this idea that I got was from a casino and I'll, the link to her video will be down below yes bye